Hi everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and we are going to keep, this is our day number 10. Well done. So we're going to start. So let's come at the front of your mat. We're going to start with these movements that we've been doing before. The squat, forward bend and roll up. Okay, so come at the front of at the top of your mat. Keep the same with hips and feet. Make sure that you balance your weight between right and left foot. So let's start. Inhale, deep inhale, bend your knees, squat. Exhale, forward bend. Keep your legs bent if you need it to. Don't force your legs. Inhale and exhale, roll up. We don't force our legs. The head is the last thing to come up. Roll your shoulders backward. And again, inhale, squat. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale at the end. Exhale, roll up. Remember that it's not the main thing to straight the legs. It's about go to our maximum hinge to straight our back. Again, inhale, squat. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale. And exhale, roll up. We never feel pain when we are doing these exercises and never feel pain close to the joints. Last one, everybody. Inhale, squat. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale. And exhale, roll up. Great. And we roll our shoulders backwards. One more time, a squat. And forward bend. Inhale, we straight our back as much as we can. We can bend the knees. We step backward right and left. Come on to all fours. We go inhale, cut the stretch curve in the spine, chin and chest. Exhale, move your tail out. Lift the chest, arch in your back. Again, inhale, and exhale, and let's go for two, inhale, and exhale, and last one, inhale, and exhale. Back into neutral, we're going to go again, cut the stretch, but this time we're going to drag the right leg in and curve your back. We're going to hold here. Inhale deep. Exhale. And just one more. Exhale. Now the same leg, extend the backwards. We push the foot on the ground, walk with your hands backwards, slide your foot, and we come all the way onto pigeon. Give me the back, the curl the toes under on the back foot and your knee off the ground. We go as far as we can go without forcing. We hold for four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Feeling the stretch. Give me your toes curl under at the back leg and the knee off the ground. Just two more. Inhale, exhale, and one more. Now walk with your hands forward and come on to all fours. Left knee in, curve your back. We hold two breaths. Inhale and exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Now extend the leg and bring it to the ground. Slide your toes, keep your toes curled under, go backwards as far as you can sit down on your heel or as closer as you can go. But the back, by the back leg, keep the knee off the ground and your toes curl under. And we just hold here for four. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, Exhale, and just one more. Good. Back again, walking forward to come onto all fours. We repeat again, right knee in, curving your spine, we hold four. Three, two, 
and one, and we back again to the other one. Slide your foot backwards, walk backwards. Here, keep me your knee off the ground so you really concentrate in your thighs. You can lift your chest by coming to your fingertips, and we just hold here for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. And two, doesn't matter if the knees is slightly bent, okay? Remember, never pain, never force. And come back, everybody. Walk with your hands forward. Back again on two all fours. Left knee go in. We hold for two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Now again, we slide the foot backwards and we walk, 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 walk as far as we can go. Even if you feel uncomfortable putting your fingertips on the ground, put your fist on the floor. Back knee off the ground and we hold for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. We walk, 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 walk again on two all fours. This time we're gonna come into downward dog. So keep your hips above you, shoulder, uh, hips above your knees and your shoulders above your hands. Curl the toes under. Press as well with your fingertips against the ground. Lift the knees. We push our bum all the way up, and we let the heels go down as far as we don't feel pain. We're just gonna go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three. And two. And down. Just one more. And slowly bring your knees onto the ground. Keep the toes curled under. And we're just going to sit back on our heels as far as comfy for our toes. And you can go all the way like this, fantastic. If not, keep the weight down. We hold here for four, feeling the release in your feet because sometimes our feet are very tight. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Remember, we breathe deep and slow to relax the areas we feel tense and tight. Come back onto all fours. Let's back onto downward dog. Now we're going to lift the right leg up. And we're going to bring the right leg in close to your tummy and curve your back. And then we extend the leg away and bring it here. If your heel is off the ground, it's okay. Get ready. So let's go. Curve your back, leg in, and exhale back to neutral. Straight your back and extend your leg. Let's go for three. And away. Let's go for two. And away. Let's go one. And away. And this one. We drop the knees and the right knee go forward, hold the way onto your right hand, and slide the left foot. This time we still keep the toes curl under, but the knee on the ground. Come onto your fist, everybody, to elevate more your chest, and we hold here. Use your toes at the back, it's really important. Let's go for four. Breathe in. Let's go for three. Open your chest, relax your shoulders. Two, and just one more. Good, bring your hands back onto the ground. Push yourself all the way onto all fours. Downward dog. <clears throat> Left leg come up, and the same. Inhale, curl your back, bring your knee close to your tummy. Exhale, extend the arm and the back and the leg. Let's go for three. And back. Let's go for two. And back. And just one more. And back. Then slowly release. Bring your knee forward. 
slide the one backwards, keep the toes curled under so you feel it um, more than releasing your feet muscles today. So come onto your fist just to help with the stretch here and we hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Two and just one more. Hands back onto the ground, push yourself all the way onto all fours, and we're gonna sit back onto child pose. We hold here for four and X. Let's go for three. Two and just one more. Now we come all the way up, bring your hands behind. You can keep your face onto the ground and we just lift our pelvis and we just hold here, stretching our thighs for four, for three. Two, it feels good for our back. And one more. And release. Well done. Remember when we went against the wall? So let's go again, okay? So bring your mat against the wall. So remember to set up this position. We sit down outside the mat with the legs out and we bring our bum pretty much at the corner between the wall and the mat. We lie down parallel to the mat and outside the mat. So when you roll, you arrive onto your mat. Bring your bum closer, then really you touch the, the wall with your bum and then we're ready to just roll. If you are too close to the wall, you can always move yourself a little bit backwards. In this part, make sure that there is nothing really bothering your neck or your head position. We're gonna bend the legs, keep your feet flat on the ground, arms beside your body, inhale, and exhale, we lift the hips, and we bring our hands on our hips just to help us to straight the back. We hold here for four, inhale, and exhale, make sure that you don't force your body. Let's go for three. This is great for your thyroid gland, for blood circulation into your organs. Two more, stimulation of the blood. And just one more. Release your hands, bring your spine down. And straight the legs on against the wall. We just go inhale, flex your feet. And exhale, toes pointing away. And we just go for seven, away, six. You can keep your heels off the wall if you feel more comfortable. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your legs, feet flat on the ground, on the wall, sorry. Lift your hips. Catch your hips. This time we release the heels from the wall and we just touch with your toes onto the wall. We hold here for four. And three. Two. Just one more. Just your toes are touching the tip of the toes. Release heels back onto the wall. Release your spine. Good. We are straight. The left leg on the ground, on the wall, sorry, and we bring the right ankle just at the top of the left thigh. Now we're going to bend the left leg as much as you can to bring your knees close to you without lifting your lower back. And we just hold here. Maybe we cannot bend that much the leg, it's okay, just as far as you can. Now flex your feet, everybody, so you really feel the stretch, and we just hold here for four. Make sure that you are not forcing your back. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Let's go for three. And 
two. And just one more. And release straight the left leg, right left leg and swap. So left ankle rest onto the right thigh. Bend the right leg as far as you can keep your lower back onto the ground. But you don't lift the lower back. And we just hold here. Doesn't matter if we don't bend that much the leg, okay? As far as you feel comfy. Let's go for four. And three. Two. You can still keep your hands at the back of your thighs and pull them closer. And just one more. Nice, straight the right leg. Both legs straight on the ground. Bring your arms backwards, flex your feet. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. We bend the legs again. Push the wall with your feet, arms beside your body. Lift the pelvis. Catch your hips with your hands. We release the right foot off the wall and bring the knee close to your tummy. And if you can, you just keep pushing your hips towards to your face just to release the leg lower. Still keep touching the wall with your tippy toes. And maybe you feel like you can release the other foot and bring two knees just above the head. If, it's, if it doesn't feel comfy, just give me one foot or will you touch him with the tippy toes to the wall. And release your right foot onto the wall. Keep your hands on your hips, making a stand for your hips. Release the left foot, bring your knee close to your face as far as possible. And keep moving the way onto your shoulders. You might too release the other foot from the wall. And we come back. Great, everybody. Now release down, it feels nice, stretch, isn't it? Good, bring your feet together a little bit lower. Open your legs onto the butterfly, keep the feet together. And we just bring the heels down as much as possible. We hold here onto the butterfly for four. And three. Two and just one more. Hands under the knee, close your legs and squeeze the knees towards your tummy. Take a deep breath here. Inhale and exhale. Now we we'll roll completely onto the side to come away from the wall. We just crawl a little bit to come onto child pose. Oh, it's good sitting back. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. And slowly move your hands and your torso towards to the left side to stretch the right side of your body. And we hold for four. Be aware of how it, what is doing your spine, okay? So, Curve inside. Let's go for a two. Last one. Back in, center, and we go other side. And we hold for four. Three, two, and just one more. Back to center. Take a breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Raise your torso. How you feel? Good. So we're just gonna go inhale, arms up, and exhale, arms down. Again, inhale and exhale. 
and just one more. And exhale. Hands back, pray position, and we say Namaste. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I hope you feel good and you feel completely different now. See you tomorrow for the next day. And remember to follow us in Instagram and Facebook as a Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and Namaste. See you again.